<laughs> no, it was it was a big pile of. All right, welcome to day twenty two. Um, this is a day I would just like to forget. <laughs> It, it just was a rough day all the way around. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night, and then uh, I heard the dog um, uh, whining at uh, real early in the morning. And so I, uh, I went down and let him out, and he went out and, and then came back in and went straight to the water bowl and drank a whole lot of water and... and Next thing you know, he's whining again. I mean, it, it was early. So anyway, day 22 of the 30-day stay-at-home order. Um, if you're just now joining us, what we're doing here is my family decided that we wanted to, to document, do a video document of what it's been like in our household uh, during this 30-day stay-at-home order that we're under. So we're on day 22, and uh, just like in any stretch of days and weeks uh there's going to be some bad days and this was one of those bad days that uh showed up on the radar screen if you want to see the other videos you can go ahead and click this link up here um, but this was one of those days that i just soon forget <laughs> um it started off like i said the the dog woke me up early and and um and then was kind of a mess the rest of the day uh, he was uh, but I was too. Uh, but uh, then it then it moved into work. Just didn't go very well at all. Um, I don't know how your guys' work is going. Uh, I'm I'm in a com commission based environment, and and um, when sales are off, so is the money. And so that's kind of what what I'm going through right now. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, we're 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 fine uh, in. The, financial area but it's still it's just discouraging because you work really hard in sales you work really hard to to uh, build up pipelines and and uh, book business and and it can be taken away very quickly and so uh, a couple of different things just didn't go my way tomorrow's another day and and I'll be back in it not a big deal there uh I had been really excited over my bread making I had thrown together some fantastic loaves of bread here recently and and the family's just been snarfing it up i mean they've been real excited over it and uh, several different recipes several different techniques and they were all just spot on everything was working out correctly and uh, so i was getting a little bit cocky and uh, I, i've put together a sourdough starter that's not starting <laughs> uh, and then I, I mixed a big batch of, of flour, a uh, big batch of dough, I'm sorry, um, and using the same yeast that I've had in the past and uh, using the same bowls and, and, and everything like that, um, and they've failed. Uh, and, and so I've had to remix and then a little bit uh, into the, the process of letting them rise and and develop some flavor uh i i think some of the issue is that it's colder in the house so we had really nice warm weather last week and i was just kicking out the dough kicking out the bread and it was really good stuff and then we hit, we hit a cold streak and uh what what you know obviously yeast likes a warmer environment and so i expected it to slow down a little bit but not at the level that it slowed down and so i've had to try and do some different things put it in the bathroom in a in a small bathroom uh and close the door and have it right by the vent and uh crank up the heat and let it go that way well that was working a little bit but to this this afternoon i was going to bring out some of that dough and make me a nice loaf and and throw it in the um throw it in the uh oven and and uh in a 40 minutes have a nice artisan loaf of bread uh but to get it to rise i needed to kick up the heat a little bit so i put it it was in a big crock, and I put it in the oven, and uh, and 
set it in there and then I went I had finished up some work and uh, next thing you know I'm, I'm just typing away on my computer and and look up and my best gal is pulling that out of the oven that crock that had my dough in it she's pulling it out of the oven and uh, bless her heart I mean I put it in there I didn't tell anybody about it well she's cooking dinner and she turns the heat on and I'm thinking oh my gosh that's a day worth of, of dough that I've been you know going through a slow rise and and now I'm trying to bring it up and and get it going and and I go in there and, and first of all the first thing she's using oven mitts and putting it on the stove and uh and I'm in a state of panic, so what do I do? I go and run up there, and I grab it with my hands, burn my fingers, and and um, and uh, then pull up the lid. And I mean, it's bubbling, but it's almost like it's boiling type. I mean, it it just um, it ruined it. I mean, it just flat out ruined it. So um, you know, I just dumping that thing in the trash. I was just disappointed, just really disappointed. So anyway. Uh, that, that just was another aspect of the day that I'd just soon forget. Uh, but that's, that's, that's not uncommon. I mean, we have days like this, and, and I certainly am not going to attribute it to anything that's going on with this stay-at-home order. Uh, it's just everyday life. Uh, tomorrow, I expect, since I'm so tired today, I expect I'll get a good night's rest, and tomorrow morning the sun will come up, and uh, the the batch of dough that I've got fermenting and and developing some flavor right now will, uh, will be just wonderful, and I'll have a big loaf of bread for us. I hope you guys have had a better day than I did. I hope you guys are uh, taking time to take care of yourself, making sure that your family is safe, making sure that you're safe, um, and, and just enjoying the, the opportunity that we've been given. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow.